What is going on guys, Nathan here with a Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary here playing as the Black Screen of Death getting a 15 kill streak, topping the leaderboard as usual. Um, just kidding, what that means is I have no idea what type of gameplay will be up on the screen because I'm pre-recording this, um, so I can assure you though that it will be of some quality. I'll try to hit as many shots as possible if I play a class that uses a uh, hit scan. But anyway, that is besides uh, the actual topic I want to talk about today, which is yesterday YouTube announced that it plans to buy Twitch for one billion dollars. Now that is very significant. Um, not only because Twitch is one of the largest um, sites for traffic and potential profit. Um, in the gaming scene, but also because it's one billion dollars, like holy crap, man, that's a lot of money. The the original developers of Twitch are probably just like rejoicing right now or something because they don't ever have to work again. They don't need to do crap. They each have, you know, fifty uh, five hundred million a piece, which I think it is two guys that originally founded Twitch, but I don't know how their business is set up. Regardless, uh, getting on a tangent there, this purchase is very much a possible cause for concern because YouTube and I'll try not to sound like I'm talking out of my ass here because I kind of am but I would just like to bring everybody's attention to this YouTube has an absolute crap reputation for a lot of things uh, namely copyright claims and being you know lenient overall with what you can post um, in a video and specific specifically in this case it'd be a live stream the thing is on YouTube their policies and their system and their systems are really bad. There are very few humans actually controlling YouTube. Most of their system is actually automated. So if I were to submit a copyright claim on us on X video um, on YouTube, there probably isn't going to be a human that will actually look over that. Instead, it will just automatically say, hey, your video is copyright claimed. It will unmonetize it automatically without even proof. And unless a human looks over that and says, no, this is bullshit, you're pretty much screwed. And that's what people do a lot. Like, this happens daily. It's false copyright claims are very prevalent on YouTube. Um, along with their whole flag system, in my opinion, because uh, I'm a little bit butthurt over that because I got one of my videos actually flagged recently, which totally did not deserve it. And basically the system just took it down, said, nope, this is ours now. And like without somebody to actually physically put it back up on YouTube, um, which, you know, nobody can do that besides people who are cozy with YouTube, aka people who have a lot of money, um, you're pretty much screwed. And that's that. But once again, I will regress back to my original topic here. I'm very concerned that YouTube will become much less lenient than Twitch is right now with what you can live stream. Um, from what I've heard, Twitch is pretty lenient in that they allow you to uh, play music while you stream, and there's also probably some games that you can see on Twitch um, more than uh, like YouTube. Uh, for example, I know like certain game developers, like single player games, that are the kinds of games that can only be played once. Developers might not want those want episodes of Let's Plays being put on YouTube just to preserve their their uh, so that users will actually purchase their game and buy it so they can actually keep getting revenue. I don't really know Twitch's policy in terms to like games like that, but all I heard is that Twitch is a lot more lenient in what they what they uh, can allow their users to stream. And not only just allowing users to stream certain things that might be might or might not be copyrighted, it's just kind of treating your content creators overall. Um, YouTube also has an absolutely shitty reputation for not supporting their content creators and supporting mostly the people who just submit copyright claims, first of all, but also their, their advertisers. I can't give an exact example, but it's like YouTube always cracks down on the video creators. And like the video creators are the people who earn them money, basically. Like they like without a video to put an ad on, you're not making money because there's no video there to monetize. 
But anyway, that's enough on that topic. Um, the second thing I wanted to talk about here is something that surfaced while I was reading the article on the fact that YouTube was going to buy Twitch. And this is on Variety.com. If you just want to Google Variety space YouTube to acquire Twitch, I'm pretty sure it'll be the first result, being this is a pretty popular website. But um, this is the paragraph that actually kind of stuck in my mind. YouTube is preparing for US regulators to challenge the Twitch deal according to sources. YouTube is far and away the number one platform for internet video, serving more than 6 billion hours of video per month to 1 billion users worldwide. And the company expects the Justice Department to take a hard look at whether buying Twitch raises anti-competitive issues in the online video market. Now, ISP monopolies aside, which is a whole another topic, this is also kind of a concern. Um, as a consumer, it's not really that big of a deal to me. But for companies who are trying to get into this market, it definitely would be. Um, the fact that YouTube is now going to own pretty much uh, two of the largest bandwidth hogs in the entire nation, Netflix aside and other you know video streaming companies that air TV shows, this is huge. And like as a gamer, there's two websites that I consider the, the two biggest hitters for gaming, and that is Twitch and YouTube. And with one company owning both of those, that is, that that screams monopoly to me. And apparently we have a system in the United States, which I, I was, but kind of wasn't aware of. But uh, I guess there are systems in our government in place to kind of prevent monopolies like that from happening, although I don't think they've really done much, although I'm... Kind of speaking out of my ass here, I'd have to actually do research, but that would be my guess. But this is going to be a huge um, monopoly in the online video game market, uh, especially when it comes to gaming. So I'd like to just point that out. You know, there's not really much we can do. Um, I don't know if, like, our government, if it actually did intervene uh, for realsies, if it would actually just, like, just say, no, you can't make this purchase because you're going to have too much power. I, I don't know how, you know, our government balances capitalism with monopolies, but uh, I suppose we'll find out that, or find that out as it happens. And that, the, the third thing I want to talk about is the, the integration, not only of Google's policies slash YouTube's policies, but the integration of Google+. I do not want to see one single, one single Google Plus sign-in, Google account sign-in, for Twitch ever. I'm so done with YouTube forcing its users to be a part of Google Plus. I am so sick of Google trying to shove Google Plus down their users' throats. They it was a bad investment. They should have abandoned it long ago because nobody on the internet wants it. If they haven't, you know, it takes one day of surfing Reddit to understand that nobody wants to be a part of Google+. People are just not into it. That's what Facebook is for. That's what Twitter is for. You don't need Google+, and I don't want this to be another extension of freaking Google+. Now, uh, oh, you have to be on Google+, and every time you comment on a Twitch stream, it'll, it'll tweet, or not tweet, it'll post your Google+, profile. Fuck that shit. I'm, I'm, I'm so done with Google+. That was more of just like an angry rant more than like, I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to say for you guys today. Not really a cheerful commentary at all, but I just really wanted to make this known because, you know, YouTube just doesn't have the reputation for it. YouTube cannot, and I mean, Google's such a big hitter anyway, but like they, they can't, they can't expect to get away with their bullshit on two websites now. That's just too much for me. And I mean, as as a consumer, other than, you know, one one in a hundred thousand people that might vote on a petition or something, there's really not anything I can do besides this. So I figured at least I can use what I have to make this known and basically let everybody know to um you know be on the lookout for bullshit in the future. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Um, feel free to like the video if you liked it, and I will see you all later.